Yes, how are you, dear Lana? It's yet another time of English class 7. In our last lesson, we looked at verbs and forms of a verb. In the first lesson, we looked at the forms of a verb. Today, we are going to continue the same, but now in form of questions. We said verbs lead to something called tenses. And uh, in our class uh, discussions earlier, we, we looked at tenses and we said tenses are the time of an action. So today we are going to look at some questions and how to handle uh, questions in tenses. And when we talk of tenses, we are basically talking about forms of a verb and verbs themselves. First question that you're going to look at is, for example, if you're given a sentence like, when I opened my eyes, that is one, when I opened my eyes, when I opened my eyes, I dash a strange sight. I dash a strange sight. The word is see. So, in questions like this, I believe, dear Lana, you've come across questions like this. And in every English exam, uh, the bulk of questions comes from tenses, that is verbs. So you, you're told, give the correct form of the verb in brackets. So, first question, when I open my eyes, I dash a strange sight. So, the first thing that you're, you're, you're supposed to ask yourself is, what is being said here and what time do you think is being looked at here? The word, the form of the verb C, the best form of the verb C is supposed to come here in the blank space. So when I open my eyes, I dash a strange sight. So dear Lana, when do you think this thing happened? Now, there are some pointers here that can drive us to see and even to, to, to decipher or even to see when the time of the action is. So, when I open my eyes, the word open here is a verb. When do you think this, look at the verb opened. Is it? We said there are three tenses. We have the present tense, we have the past tense, and the future tense. Do you think this one is in the present, in the past, or the future? Opened. Opened is, I know, you've said, it's in the past. Yes, because the present form is open. So open is in the past, in the past. So basically, the verb that is going to come here should also be in the past. So when I open my eyes, I dash a strange sight. Which is the best form of the verb see in the past that is supposed to come here? In the past, we have the past simple form. We have the past perfect. So which one do you think should come here? So when I open my eyes, I saw a strange sight. When I opened my eyes, I saw a strange sight. So dear Lana, you have seen that when you are dealing with tenses and the best form of verb in the brackets, you are supposed to ask yourself, when is the action? What time is being looked at in the sentence? That is our first example. So the verb saw is the best, is the best form of the verb see in this sentence here. It is the past simple tense. Number two, question two. Every morning, every morning, every morning, she dash up early. She dash up early to and gets ready for work and gets ready for work. And the verb in bracket is wake. This is the infinitive form. And we said the infinitive form is the form of the verb that is to be changed to the other forms. We have the present participle, we have the, the past form and the, and the past participle form. And the infinitive now here. So every morning she dash up Ali and uh, she dash up Ali and gets ready for work. So what is being said here? So when you say every morning, that means it is every, every other morning, 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So working days. So every morning she dash up early and get ready for work. So which form of the word wake will marry with every morning? Now, uh, last time we said the infinity form, infinity form is used to form something called the present simple tense. The present simple tense, uh, if, we, if, you can, if you revisit to even early discussions in class, face to face, we said the present simple tense is used to show what we call habitual action. Habitual action. Habitual action. The word habitual comes from the word habit or something that is done as a custom. So every morning she wakes. She wakes up early. She wakes up early and gets ready for work. Now you might ask yourself, or you might ask, why do we say wakes and not wake? And because also wake can be used is, is also in the present simple form. Now there are some things, there are some things that are or there is something that is looked at here. We have the, the, the pronoun she. Um, when you revisit to even other discussions about the person, we have three persons in English. We have the first person, first person singular, Lana, it is I. First person plural, we. This is the first person. This is the person or the people who are talking. We have the second person which is you. And the third person singular is he, she, or it, and plural is they. So we have three persons in English. We have first person, singular, and plural. We have second person, you, which, which, can, be, which can either be singular or plural, you. And third person, singular, and plural. Okay? So we have the verb wake or wakes. So, when you're talking about habitual action, you say, I wake, I wake up early, we wake up early, you wake up early, they wake up early, but when it comes to the third person singular, you say, he wakes up early, she wakes up early, it wakes up early. So, we've seen that the third person singular, that is, um, represented by this pronoun, he, she, and it, takes what you call an S at the end. So you can do this uh, practice even at home with different verbs. We have go. I go, we go, you go, they go, but he goes, she goes, it goes, I eat, we eat, you